Today we will be locking in this cargo net into this trailer on the E-Track. Tools that you'll need. Your crimpers, tape measure, open end half inch, cutters, hammer, small pry bar, center punch. Parts that you'll need for one install. Four each, four ferrules, two D-rings, one turnbuckle, a jam nut for the turnbuckle, lock, and your stainless steel cable. First, we make the drop down cable that connects the top cable to the cargo net. This is what you'll need. Measure about 60 inches in length, and our target is 55 inches loop to loop. This cable is ready. Put that to the side. Next, We'll be assembling our D-rings and turnbuckle. This is our end product. Grab your D-ring. Open up your turnbuckle on a vise with your center punch. Slip it on. Install your jam nut on the other side. Open this up and put it on this end, like so. Second D-ring. The same. D-ring, turnbuckle, jam nut. Deering. This is assembled. Now we will test fit it on the A track. Crimp down on this side and make sure you slip your cable through. Cable is through. Now run your stainless steel cable the length of the trailer. And pull the cable nice and tight, enough to loop around this D-ring. And we cut. Slip our ferrule through first, through the D-ring, back through the ferrule, now you can mop fit it. This is where you get your tension right. Pull. And this is a 3 16 ferrule. So we will be crimping it three times at 3 16 Three crimps. Now we have our cable made. 
Drop down made. And the other side is set. So now we mount it up top. The D-ring installed at the nose. This will lock into our net. Now we have our half inch. And we go ahead and tighten this turnbuckle. Now we tighten this turnbuckle. As much as you can go by hand. Put up your jam nut and snug it up. Last step. Grab your lock. You're good to go. Net is locked in. Cable can slide lengthwise of the trailer.